Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a custom pop-up form in HubSpot 2024. And right now, I'm currently inside HubSpot. You should be seeing this also on your landing page. Only the difference is that if you're using the paid version versus the free trial as I have right now, it may differ a little bit. However, the programs on this top section will be the same. So the first thing you wanna do is click on marketing look for forms before it was lead generation right here i think that was for paid subscriptions anyway click on forms right there and you'll be directed on this new landing page as you can see right there i don't have any forms just yet so simply click on that button right there the orange one create a free form perfect and then you'll have a lot of form type these are basically some templates if you're familiar with templates so i have embedded form standalone page pop-up box drop down banner side left side right now i'm gonna go with pop-up box right there because we're gonna create a pop-up form click on next and basically wait for it to redirect you on a new landing page now as you can see right here you'll have a lot of pop-up on page right here you have call out form thank you targeting options automation and preview basically those are the steps and basically with this one we can have our fun here First thing to notice is the tools on the left side. Basically, if you're familiar with Canva, you won't be lost here. So upload an image. Basically, for the image, this will be your logo. I think I still have my logo right there. And then call out text. So I'm going to retain a sign up for email address. Or let's just say um, sign up for email updates and free credits. I'm just going to show you that you can still edit this one. Call out body. You can still add the sub text here. Basically, supporting your call out text. For example, sample call out buddy. So guys, please take note that everything you do here will show on your um, output. So basically the limit here would be your imagination. And then team color, of course you can choose your color here. Simply choose a color, you have an advanced advance there. But for me, I prefer the simple one. I'm gonna go for red. And then it will ask you what should the link button link to. You have a HubSpot page, file download, meeting link, calendar event i'm gonna go with meeting link right there and then type a meeting link if you have one if you have a calendar event of course set a calendar event right here i think i'm gonna go with that hubspot url here i'm just gonna go with youtube.com like so and basically we're good to go here i think i need triple w right there okay give me a second here i'm gonna look for a valid email address or rather url perfect found a url that's working basically it's gonna be my channel now, once we're done here, basically we filled up everything. Let's move on with the next step, going on form. So click on next, and then we'll go to targeting. So if you notice that, you should be going to forms and thank you, right? However, this options right here, they want to grade out. These are for paid subscribers. They have additional features versus the free trials. However, the free trial is good enough for me. So website URL, so show pop-up, it will just gonna ask the actions here. So when website is open, all pages are shown. You can add a rule right there, hide pop-up when website URL contains, for example, your company. You can delete the pop-up right there or extension rule, it really depends on you. So visitor information and behavior. So with this one, when selected for visitor is a contact, you can add some more here. You can put an unknown, add a rule. Of course, you can delete the rule right there. So the thing here, if you're getting the idea that on this part, everything that you put here as a rule will be directed on your pop-up form. Basically, everything here is going to be by your own choice. So you can add a filter group right there, triggers for 50% of page scroll. So if you already have the page on scrolling, you can enter that one. So click on next. Options, so you can remove the HubSpot logo from your pop-up forms. However, this is for paid subscribers. So customize life cycle. So for default, I'm going to go with subscriber. So all of the visitors can be subscribers. Since I put in a YouTube tutorial um, link, remember? And then show this miss pop-up again after two weeks. I'm going to go with three days here. So my pop-up cycle would be frequent. That's the idea. So when contacts are captured, send email notifications to basically input your email right here. I'm going to log in my basic uh, dummy email right there. Just for discussion purposes. Perfect. So everything that has been captured on my pop-up form will be directed on my email so I can monitor them. Basically with this one, click on next. 
and now we have a preview so we need to subscribe um to check on this one however if we don't need a preview of course we can just click on publish and we'll be good to go basically that's how you create a pop-up form for hubspot 2024 again guys there are a lot of templates to work with here so please have your fun so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe we'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye for now